Hello, my name is Chad McMahon. I'm with Protect With Insurance. I'm the CEO. This video and article, um, this is going to be about life insurance scams that are really common, uh, real common scams in the industry where agents are up to no good. The bad apples. This video is about the bad apples in the industry and what to watch for. Life insurance is extremely important. But when it comes to getting life insurance policy, there are absolutely there are do's and there are don'ts and there are agents you want to avoid, there are agencies you want to avoid, and there are easy ways to identify them, which I'll cover at the end of this video. The scams you need to watch out for is, and this is not a new thing, this is something that's been going on for many, many years, what a lot of agency, agents are doing, and agencies train on this as well. Some agencies, they're going to train this as sales tactics. They want to get in the door and sit with you under any circumstances. So unfortunately, we're seeing people that are being incredibly dishonest in order to sit with you, to be face to face with you and shake your hand and then try and warm you up, which is an industry term. You want to build rapport and do all these things. All these sales tactics are taught by most agencies out there and most agents utilize these sales tactics. So here are some specifics. You may get a call from someone. If you already have life insurance, they're going to ask you, do you have life insurance? Well, they should know that if they're going to say the next thing they're about to say. Then they'll say, oh, I, th I thought you did have life insurance and I'm taking over your previous agent's cases because they're not doing their job or whatever it may be, any kind of reason that they're going to come up with. So taking over the uh, agent's cases that served you with that life insurance. So all I need to do is just review what you have, make sure that they put you in the best possible policy. It's very possible they didn't. It's very possible that they put you in the wrong policy because they've been doing that. Uh, the agent's been doing that. They don't even know if the agent is a man or a woman or, or local or not. They don't know anything. They're guessing. They're guessing. So it's basically a con to get in the door. It's probably backed by real life insurance, but it's a con to get in the door. They're starting off the relationship dishonestly to meet with you because they know that the best chance to sell a life insurance policy is to be face to face with you. So they'll say anything to get in the door. Now, another thing that you're going to commonly hear is that you should very quickly drop the policy that you have and get this other policy because it's, it's, it's cheaper or um, it's, it has better living benefits or it um, has more coverage or whatever it may be. Now, sometimes this is true, but be very cautious. Don't instantly think it's a lie, but be very cautious about this. Ask a lot of questions and verify it. You know, when the policy comes, you got to make sure that you double check it. You don't have to read the whole policy, but maybe run it by someone who knows life insurance and just say, hey, look, I just picked up this policy. Can you make sure that it genuinely is better than what I had before? This is what I had before. Um, that's a really important step. Now, another thing is sometimes agents are calling and they're saying, uh, let's say, for example, it's a type of life insurance called mortgage protection. It's essentially a term life insurance policy. Agents are calling and they're saying, uh, hey, I work with the lender and I can get you a better rate on your mortgage protection because who knows it better than us? First of all, they don't work with the lender. They're a life insurance agent within a life insurance agency. There's really no, and I mean 0% affiliation between them and the lender. It's a complete lie. So that's another thing that we're commonly seeing. Lenders don't do mortgage protection. They do private mortgage insurance. It's a totally different animal. Doesn't pay off the mortgage when you pass away where mortgage protection does. But mortgage protection is 100% life insurance. Lenders are not in the life insurance business. So that's a different thing. Now, another thing is you should always expect to see a badge, a life insurance badge that clearly identifies the agent you're meeting with has their life insurance uh, agency number for the state um, or possibly a national number, but at least a state ID. And they need to have that on a badge so that you can easily recognize their picture. And you can also go to the Arizona Department of Insurance and plug in their life insurance number and find that, yes, they do legitimately have a license. Very few agents have badges. They have no identification except for a business card that they could have easily made in five seconds on Vistaprint. And they may not even be a life insurance agent. It's something that you need to look out for. So just protect yourselves. It's not that it's a big, scary world out there, but you've got to do some things that need to become common sense for you. And tell your neighbors, tell your friends. 
there's a lot of this that's going on. We're constantly hearing feedback from our clients and they're saying, finally, you know, someone that we feel that we can trust, um, you know, we're going to work with you guys forever. And the stories that they tell us about their uh, confrontations with agents, you know, they seem like nice enough people, these other agents, but the things that they're saying to either A, get in the door or B, close the deal. I mean, it's terrible. No one should ever be closing the deal with you. They should only be providing you the resources and saying, here are your options. Whatever you want to do, I'm here for you. That's it. That's as far as it should go. And if anything else is happening, that's a big red flag. Now, if you have other questions, concerns about this, you can always run things by us. Get in touch with us. If you have concerns about agent that you met with, um, you know, take 30 seconds with us and say, hey, does this sound fishy? And if it doesn't, we'll tell you. And if it does, then maybe we'll give you a question or two that you should ask just to verify, make sure everything's okay. So I hope this has been helpful. Stay safe out there.